In this AutoCAD lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw a basic hip roof plan. So I assume you know what a roof plan is. In architectural drawings, we draw roof plans um, to show the slope of the roof. So in this one, I'm just going to show a basic um, hip roof to start off with. So here I have in green lines, um, that's just to indicate uh, a wall thickness as if we're looking in plan view. And we're going to draw our roof lines over the top. So if a roof pitch is the same pitch all the way around, it's all equal, then um, the hip lines that we're going to generate will always be at 45 degrees. So what we can do is we'll uh, type L for line and I'm going to make sure I've got my um, ortho on. So press the F key if it's not already. I'm going to left click on the corner and I'm just going to, uh, I'll just left click on that snap there. As you can see, we've got a white line there. I'm going to select that line. Now I'm going to um, left click on that blue grip. So now it's a red grip, which is now a hot grip. And now I've selected it down the bottom left here. It says stretch. Uh, we don't want to stretch it. We're going to rotate it. So to go to the next thing, we press the space bar. And now it says move. And we press space bar again. And it says rotate. So we want to rotate this 45 degrees. So all we need to do is type 45 and then press enter. Okay, so we have our first hip line. Now we're gonna have another one coming up that way. So we could do the same method again, or we could just mirror it. So what I'll do is I'll just select the um, line again. I'm gonna left click on the grip. I'm gonna look down here again, see it says stretch. I'm gonna press space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. And now we're on the mirror. But uh, we want to not just mirror it, we want to copy it as well. So to copy it, we just type C and then press space or enter. And I've got my ortho on, so then I can just move the mouse down and left click. And then I can just press escape. And press escape a couple of times. Okay, so now we have um, both hips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this grip here. Well, we'll use the move command. So I'll just type the letter M for move, select the object. And I want to snap on from the bottom of it. And then I want to move it over here. So now we have um, our <clears throat> hip lines. And generally they would come to a peak where the ridge is. But obviously we've got a big gap there. So the way we can join those is we can use the fillet command. So if I type F for fillet, press enter or space. Now you want to make sure down here in the command prompt that the radius is set to zero. Um, Mine's already set to zero, but if yours is set to something else, um, all you need to do is type the letter R and press the space bar, and then just enter zero and then press space bar. And then we're ready to fill it. So we'll select the first object, then our second object. And as you can see, it's come to a nice crisp point. Now, we're gonna have hips and bellies all the way around here, and we're not going to waste our time um, going around and having to to you know, draw 45 degree angles. We've already got two now, so all we need to do, we, we can just copy these now. So we can just type CO for copy, select the object, and I'll select from the base point, and I'm just gonna click around to here. Now I'm gonna press space bar, and I'm gonna do the same with the other one. Uh, actually, I'll press one, so copy, and I'm from here uh, to here. And so we've got one over here, so we'll copy again, CO from here, this point and over here okay and while we're up here we'll just fill it that to be tidied up so f for fill it and there we go now when you work out a roof plan the best way to go about it i find <clears throat> is to try and break it into rectangular sections so in this case um you know you, you can imagine if this was just going all the way through if this was just um, i might change the color here So that was a rectangle and oh, this was a rectangle and this one here is a rectangle as well. So we're breaking it into rectangles. So what we'll do first, I'll just delete 
these two rectangles. Just wanted to show you how I see. And what we want to do is um, just copy. Oops, CO for copy. Press Enter. Okay, copy from here to here. Okay, and now I'm going to draw a ridge line. Let's go back to white. Okay. All right, so that's our first part. Now, from here, same thing, we can just draw a ridge line through. Okay, and um, I know that it's the ridge line is probably going to break off of there, but we'll just leave that for now. Now, this rectangle, or this, uh, this section here that I was talking about as a separate section, um, first we'll do is we'll check the length. Okay, so I'm just going to type uh, dist and I'm going to select here to here and that tells me that's 7400 millimeters and I'm going to click from here to here and that's 65. Now generally speaking in most cases what you want to do is pitch the uh, the, uh, the hip from the smallest side so we've already got that one coming up here and I'm going to CO copy this one from here to here. All right. And so what we'd have here is I'm going to fill it F for here to here. Okay. And I'm just going to, um, it's starting to get a bit messy in there, but I'm just going to delete that uh, rectangle. Uh, yep. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that, both those. I'm going to left click on the grip. You're going to press the space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar, as you can see down here again with mirror. And I'm going to type C for copy. And I've got my ortho on, move down, and I left click, and then press escape. Now I'm going to move these objects over here. So now, as you can see now, we've got overlapping a bit um, all our different um, uh, hip lines and, and ridges. So the way we can work that out is we know that this direction, this one here, is going to be falling one direction. So we can trim out that part. We know that that's not going to be there. And we know that by looking at this, that the, this, um, this hip line comes up to this bit higher here. So we can trim out this part too. So as you can see, we've got this portion down here. Now this one here, we only used as a reference point, so we're going to delete that. So I can type E for erase. And um, as you can see, that was just coming off that uh, yellow rectangle that I created. And sometimes we do that, we just put in uh, dummy or, or temporary uh, roof lines to help us work out the roof. So I'm just going to erase that, so E for erase. And you know, most of it's looking pretty good. And the only part we need to really fix up is over here. So we can type TR for trim, select that, and we'll trim that off, and that off. And as you can see here, this roof line would be going down that direction as well. So we can either we can either trim or we can fill it. So we can just fill it um, using the F key and go to there. So that's our basic um, roof plan we have there. And um, I'll do some other roof plans in the future. Um, <clears throat> another thing you can do is generally there's an eave, most things, so I didn't draw that. But if I just trace around using the polyline command, so PL for polyline, and I'll just snap onto all these green walls. And the last one I can snap on there, or I can just type the letter C for close, and then press Enter. And as you can see, it's closed there. Now what I can do is I can offset, over offset, Type 450, that'll be 450 mil Eve. And I can delete that. So select it and E for erase. And all I need to do then, if I want to extend that out, is type EX for extend, press a space bar, select the object, press space, and now I can just go around and select the bottom part of those um, hip and belly lines. So we have um, have our roof plan going out like that. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, I'll save this to my um, web server so you can download the file and we'll move on to some other more complex roofs as, um, as we move along.